afternoon. This is Alina G coming to you live from Park Ridge, Illinois, where we are here at Washington School with some breaking news. Can you tell me a little bit about the efforts at that at your school that you are trying to give the students an opportunity to compost? Of course. Well, here at Washington, students are working hard to compost to make rich soil for our garden. Here are some friends to tell us what items we should put in compost, recycling, and garbage, and what we should not put in them. Ladies and gentlemen, the avocados! Hey, it's us, Avocado here. I know you all love me in your salads or when you whip me up in some guacamole. But when I get wrinkly or turn brown, just know I make a great addition to any compost pile. Same here with me, Banana Man. I might be top notch in a banana split, banana bread, or even a side on your lunch, but just keep me in mind when you're finished and toss me in the compost bin. If my friends can go in the compost, can I join them too? Stop! You're a pizza slice, right? Yeah, why? I'm sorry, but food with grease is not allowed. But for us, Star. Ah, the classic PB&J. Can't be beat. We know you secretly peel off the crust and don't tell your mom, but the crust from yours sandwich may be composted. However, you may absolutely not throw out whole, half, or even quarter sandwiches in the compost bin. I'm just a cute cupcake. Where should I go? Sorry, so cutie. cutie. Cupcakes, Cupcakes need to be placed in the garbage when finished. Don't you love me a waffle lot? Can I join the others in the compost? Sorry, buddy, but you're too sticky and you need to head to the trash when you're through. If you come with a can or plastic bottle holding me, remember, I can be your psycho. It's easy. Watch and see. I'm juicy and sweet and a good summertime treat. Whatever you don't eat, you can go can go in the compost. Isn't that neat? I'm a bit nutty tucked in my shell, but when you're done with me, put me in the compost bin. Isn't that swell? Did you know pistachio shells are nutrient-rich addition to your compost bin that help water retention? They're biodegradable, so they will be broken down over time and turned into compost. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog, an all-American ballpark classic. But sorry, Charlie, we don't want to attract rodents in our compost bins. Please place in garbage when done. Whether you're a crunchy carrot or a creepy one like me, remember that that you're through. I'll be in the in the compost. I'll be. Wait, talk about a party. You forgot about me. Where should I go? Um, hmm. Where should they go? Well, I think garbage is going to be the right choice. Okay. You do have grease. So here you see we have bins set up in the lunchroom so we can separa easily separate your garbage from your compost and recyclable items. We even have a bucket set up so if there's a bit of milk left over, you can just pour the extra and take your milk carton into the recycling bin. And here is the carton for when you pour your milk, and then you can place it in the recycling. Here are some pictures to help you out in case you get confused. Some examples of recycling are plastic bottles, plastic yogurt, containers, brown paper bags. And here are samples of what materials will make up our compost bin. Well, there you have it, folks. These kids are doing everything they can and put in a ton of effort to save our planet, Earth, the wonderful place we call home. Coming next to you, Ooh, we have our Local 5 day forecast and the scores from the NFL. Back to you in the studio. Yeah. Yeah.